bit good one, wasn't it? Yes, Don. That's close. I think it's a goal. Yes, it is. Steve Martin. We start tonight with the highlights of the first quarter. Pert, can he get away? Kick off the ground. Effective. Goes out towards Francis. He's being chased by Baxter. Francis slips over. A little flip has got to the advantage of his team. Wallace's kick is good to the front of the square. Marking contest. No one takes it. Here's a goal. Royal. He doesn't miss those, Brian Royal. In towards the centre. Towards Coleman. He'll get the free kick. So things going with the dogs at the moment. Atkins. Wobbles one towards Brian Royal. He booted their first. He should boot their second. 30 metres out. Chips to goal. Two to Royal. They're fighting for top spot on the ladder today. Delray, can he have a snap? Let's kick one. Wind gets a hurried kick, but straight to his opposing Ruckman. He thought about the hand pass on to Graham Wright, but then elected to go the other way to Mickey McGuan. A set shot, 46 metres. It's a good-looking kick from Mick to goal. So at quarter time, nothing in it, just one kick. Footscray, three goals, four to Collingwood, two goals, four. And a fantastic second quarter coming up at the MCG. We rejoin our commentators, Sandy Roberts, Ian Robertson and Ross Glendinning at the opening bounce of the second term. A goal in it. Footscray's way. Conditions ideal here at the MCG. Wind wins it out of the centre. Who can take it away? It's Tony Shaw. Towards Russell, but he's beaten by Keenan Reynolds. Yeah, Russell had the better of that duel in the first quarter. Reynolds back over the centre. He wants Coleman. Stasevich does well to spoil. Krasiska. Did he have the football? Gaifer. Kick partly smothered. Russell this time in front of Reynolds. Off to Tony Shaw. The pies into attack, but only as far as Barry Stanfield. Been a terrific fill in there for Peter Poster, Stanfield. That was a good mark, actually. I'm sure he realised that backing back there was a certain amount of danger, but he went for it with a lot of determination. A high kick towards half forward. Moncourse can't mark. Fraser away to Francis. In turn to Tony Shaw. He has a good look upfield. The kick is a bit too high. The Reynolds little hand pass to McPherson. Reynolds goes back to try and recover his position. Could have nearly been awarded a free kick, but the umpire I felt there may have been on the bad side. But what do you think, Ross? Well, they just don't pay players free kicks in the back. I mean, you're not allowed to interfere with a player's back. They just won't pay those. Okay, Monkhorst, Francis, tackled by his opposite number two in Keenan Reynolds. The umpire forced to bounce it once again. It's just forward of the centre. Collingwood's attacking half. Footscray lead by a goal. Little kick by McPherson. Goes out towards the wing. Race between Krasiska and Wallace. Left behind. Francis a tap on. Good play. Brad Rowe. Handball wide to McGuan. McGuan kicks it high and wide. Brown and Eppleston. Brown, good use of the body. He must do something with this, Gavin Brown. Kick across his body is too far. To the left and through for... He's third behind. Collingwood trailing by five points. The gloved Tony Campbell. Looked for Stanfield, didn't find him. Krasiskas from 50 metres. It's a long kick. It's a good kick. He's got it. The Maggies have hit the front. Gavin Krasiska gets his first. Collingwood lead 3-5 to 3-4. And the good quick hands of Scott Russell setting that up. Watch this here. Short, quick hand ball. And Krasiska, he's a fine left foot kick. And a better shot at goal you wouldn't see from that distance. One point the difference. Coleman blasts through centre. Then finds himself in a bit of a quandary. And eventually pumps it to half forward. Pert. Got to push over out. the top yes. and was pushed into it. Yeah, Oscar. it was, correct. So he'll take it from half back. Gary Pert, who kicks the ball pretty well under normal circumstances. This has got good penetration. 
Williams hand pass, drops in short, Coleman picks it off, kicks it back towards centre half forward, no mark taken, fumble there by Colinuk, he's not going all that well Steve Colinuk, taken away by Graham Wright, kick back towards the centre of the ground, bounces awkward for Wine, but he's able to find some space, gives away the hand pass, Coleman again, skillfully around McGuan, and kicks it up towards centre half forward, getting back, Kerrison drops it, Royal, Beaten for it by Richardson. In comes Hawkins. Tackled by Fraser. Away he goes to Callett. Callett's kick is an up and under. Goes about 15 metres towards his team's goal. Punched away by the Collingwood defence. In goes Fraser. A little attempted flip out. Was know. classified as another throw. <laughs> Shaking your head there, Ross. Well, what else is he supposed to do? It looked to me as though it was a if good tries, tap on, wasn't well, it? If you try to hang on, we get pinged for holding the ball. Exactly. Gary Pert now to kick it back out for Collingwood. And he looks for the big fellow, Monkhorst, and he takes the mark in front of Scott Wine. Pretty obvious hand pass, but it's effective to Gaifer. In turn, to Krasiska is killing them. On the wing, Krasiska kicks it in towards half forward. Brown gets rid of Eppleston, but Eppleston recovers. Brad Rowe making a contest of it, did well. And the umpire gives the boundary umpire the all-clear to throw it in about 35 metres around from the Collingwood goal. Rocker over the top. Hammers it some 15 metres closer to goal. Tell you what, Steve Wallace is playing pretty wide of Krasiska. They're still 25 metres apart. Rocker to do the ruck work again against Wine, who this time wins it with a palm with the left hand. McGuan will take this on the chest. Pumps in towards half forward and stabs beautifully. Yeah, Steve McPherson caught almost down in the goal square there. Baxter's picking up Williams. McPherson is on McGuan. Tony Francis. All-Australian last year. Club best and fairest. Inside 50. Oh, it's a lovely kick. It's a beauty. But only a behind. <laughs> 3 6 plays 3 4. Two points the margin. Oh, kick in, puts Eppleston under pressure. He's going to get caught. Away goes right. Graham Wright from 30 metres, left foot, goal! Oh dear, the Bulldogs look a little rattled. It's pretty early in the game. But two or three kicks out of defence, one by McPherson. That one put Eppleston under enormous pressure, and Graham Wright capitalised. Yes, that kick just too high. A lower trajectory kick would have been better. That's where these set plays can sometimes come undone. The longer kick in these situations, as far as you can to your ruckman, I believe is a better option. She an excellent tackle by Brad Rose. Set it up. Oh, it puts great players run into each other. What's happened? Well, well, a bit fortunate. Yep, Francis Liberatore. was away. Liberatore. Kick to half forward. Or oh, Colinuk fortuitously on his chest. Well, he's in front, I suppose. That's where forwards need to be. He was aimed for Hawkins. And the kick fell short. Steve Colinuk. High into the pocket. Good lead by Grant. She's a good player. That's where this forward line does work very well. If you're not looking for Del Rey or Hawkins, Grant bobs up. And you've got some great options, particularly when Coleman plays down the field more toward the centre of the ground. It leaves a bit of space for the forwards behind him to run into. Now, he really must kick this, Chris Grant, in a tight game. Goals are going to be hard to get. The ball is... hits the post. Well, it must have been a player that rocked the post because the ball has gone through for a goal to Footscray. And they trail only by two points. Yes, I think it was Gary Pert that... Uh into the post there, Robbo, but Gaifer there just, uh, that's, if he's got a problem, Mick Gaifer's from a player who leads like that, other than that one-on-one, -on -one, he's very hard to beat. 30 plays, 28. Collingwood leads. Monkhorst won the tap out. Wallace intercepting as Brown. Stealing at Liberatore. The dogs into attack again. Towards Danny Delray. One hand, he just palms it down in front. Royal beautifully tackled. Call to play on is Delray. Now the whistle sounded. It will go back. A free kick to that Shane Kerrison. Colin with the tackle on Royal. Yes, but the ball spills free after the players tackle its play on, Robert. 
Kerrison at fullback. Runs away from Royal with a couple of bounces. Goes inside to Stasovic. Collingwood over centre. Towards the half forward line. And this time a good mark taken by Richardson. Mark Richardson. Putting the pies inside 50 but Wine got a hand to it. Couldn't take it. Monkhorst comes in. There will be a free kick uh, for a push to Wine. Campbell's uh, way down at the centre of the ground at the moment. In fact, Grant could well deliver this football to him. Tony Campbell is all alone. He can go to Collinook. No, elects to centre at the Delray. Well done, Tony Campbell. He took the punt of running away from fullback. And Scott Wine's gone down there, cover for him. Well done, Scott Wine. Good thinking and a good kick from Campbell. He spotted. Delray, the corner of his eye, got that around the corner very quickly. Delray nearly missed it. Had the chance to gather again on the second bite. So he looks for his second, and this to regain the lead for Collingwood. For Footscray. Collingwood leading at the moment by two points. Delray's kick straight through the middle. The dogs are back in front. Through Brad Rowe, he's kick up towards full forward. No mark taken. Rocker, Williams, hand pass. No, a little kick. Stanfield caught. Ball runs free now. Williams. It's still there in Collingwood's half forward area. A chance for Brad Rowe. Round he goes onto the right. No, he's well tackled by Lipratore. And Lipratore should be rewarded. No, Footscray get it out anyway. Out towards Collingwood. Tackled by right. Gets the hand pass away. Baxter's quick kick. Goes back towards the vacant half forward area for Collingwood. Starsevic is there. Kick across his body. Effective. Francis gathers. Hand pass to Fraser. Mark Fraser is very, very quick. Kicks it towards full forward. Marking contest. Rocker's got it. Campbell misjudged it. And Severio Rocker has marked about 20 metres out directly in front. A what? chance for his first goal. Well done, Collingwood. Well set up by Fraser there. I was going to suggest that if Rock in the next five or six minutes was having trouble getting his hands on the football, perhaps a move of bringing Morwood onto the ground to full forward, and take Rocker off the ground, the ball's been on the ground a bit more often, it might have been to the advantage of Collingwood. Well, he'll be a little bit nervous. He think he's lost his nerves now, though. He has kicked his first goal. And he has regained the lead for the Magpies. They lead by two points. Well, he's had some practice at full forward and under 19s, and he's such a fine athlete that uh, that kick certainly, as Robbo said, will give him a lot of confidence. And there, Tony Campbell just misjudging the flight of the ball. Rocker with the greater height advantage, taking full advantage. So, back in the centre, Scott Wine having a terrific contest with Damien Monkhorst. The players around that centre circle, Tony Shaw, umpire having a real good look at it. Terrific bounce, not to the advantage of either team. Brown nearly harasses Liberatore out of it. He's tackled. Is he penalised? No. Because Tony Liberatore did everything in his power to move the ball on. And the umpire will call for another bounce. Tony Liberatore sporting a shiner. Still in the middle. Monkhorst wins it. Wallace, Clay. First bit was high, Sandy, across the shoulder from Brown. So Steve Wallace sending the dogs towards half forward. He's looking for Coleman. Francis intercepted and from half back. Good goes kick. back towards Brown. Wallace has got to virtually charge him. It's a very good kick from Francis. He saw Brown around the corner. Got around quickly. The blow was high. The intention was right. And so was the free kick. It was there. Collingwood leads by two points. Gavin Brown send them into attack going long off hands it ricochets towards goal and Greg Eppleston is quite happy to add a behind to the Collingwood score five seven plays five four and under 14 minutes remaining in this first half Campbell again all on his own Stanfield the boy from Fish Creek goes to half forward. 
Coleman caught behind on this occasion. And the mark taken by Craig Stasovich. She had a long way to run and no one to kick it to. Yeah. Then Stanfield. Alan Richardson. On the outer side. Towards centre wing. Oh, fine mark taken by Mark Richardson. Promising player, this young boy. He's certainly showing a bit today. Richardson. To the Collingwood half forward line. Brown up from behind. Eppleston pushes the ball forward. There was some holding on going on there. We'll go against Footscray. McGuan. Kick number 10. Centering kick. Wanted Rocker, but this time he's beaten by Campbell. A little bit of pressure on the Footscray defence. It's Keenan Reynolds marks on the defensive 50 metre line. Attacked from behind by Krasiska as he gets his kick. So it should be a free kick going to Grant. Illegally manhandled by Michael Gaither. Tony Francis did that well too to hold play up a little bit. Grant has the football just behind the wing for the Bulldogs. Short kick. Okay. Marcus taken by Baxter. His kick. Ordinary. Floater. Oh, Mark. Well done, Coleman. Surprise element there. The kick floated. He took it well, and he kicks it to the square. One out. Del Rey and Perth. Oh. Del Rey's got it. Well done, Danny Del Rey. He's a deceptive player, Robbo. Gary Perth there uh, trying to almost outmark him. Watch this again. Perhaps concerning a bit too much here. Jostling. Just expecting the ball to carry a little bit further than it did. Well done, Del Rey, to play front posse. He's kicked two. So the chance for his third. We've got just under 12 minutes left in the second quarter. This could put the Bulldogs in front by three points. At the moment, they trail by that margin. He kicks the goal. So three goals to Delray, two goals to Royal, one to Chris Grant. And for Collingwood, they're all singles. Monkhorst, Wright, Krasiska, McGuan and Severio Rocker. A couple of positional changes here. Eppleston now picking up McGuan. Baxter now going on to Brown. Brown on the ball. Liberatore picking up Rowe. Thirty-seven plays forty. Footscray regaining the lead. Liberatore to Coleman again. Craig Starsevich is a bit out of sorts here at centre half back. I thought he's a fair pick to play on Coleman because of his mobility and his fitness. Coleman leading the way so far. Glenn Coleman with his eighth kick from just outside 50. It's high and it's long. Oh. I'm trying to get it out of the middle. Can't do so. Graham Wright, well claimed. The ball spills free to Hawkins. The dog suddenly doing all the attacking. Down towards full forward. Delray's got to try and recover as Stasovic heads for the boundary line. Nine points is the margin, favouring Footscray. Coleman in front. Royal chopping his way through. He's outside 50. Heads towards goal. Delray caught behind. Pert plays on. Pressure on Krasiska, but he shrugs the tackle. Comes to half back. And settling it down is Russell. His kick is wide. Monkhorst. Oh, I would let him go. It was a free kick. Yeah, he was bringing the advantage back. and right. he's taken him back. So that was Hunter. Just going short to Baxter. He's on centre wing. Settled down a bit, Footscray, in the middle part of this second term. Yep. Steadied after Collingwood looked threatening, Robbo, didn't they? Early, Early on. Yep. To half forward, Krasiska trying to spoil from the side. Wallace held. Got to be a free kick. Either held or in the back. Yep. Played for in the back. Coleman and Delray zigzagging down in the forward line. And Steve Wallace. Going for distance. A good, strong solid defensive mark taken by Gary Pert. Steve Wallace is not a penetrating enough kick to be like that. He really doesn't get onto it all that well and that kick dropped short. 
Collingwood out of trouble now through right. A long kick out towards centre wing. McPherson gets rid of Williams. A little kick off the ground. Collingwood's advantage. Fraser, well taken. One bounce. He may even go for a second. His kick to the front of the square. Rocker! He's got it in front of Tony Campbell. If it's not one man at the other end in Del Rey, it's Rocker down the other end for Collingwood. He's quick, Fraser, isn't he? Yes, those. Uh, it's just so important to have your fleet footed players midfield getting kicks like that, setting up your forward play, and Rocker with his height taking well, advantage again. The Collingwood goal here will make it just three points the difference once again. He makes no mistake. So Severio Rocker has kicked his second goal, and he's the first multiple goal scorer for the Magpies. Well done, too, by the young fellow there, because he was a player, as I suggested, he might have uh, been a little bit coming off the ground, but Fraser Williams providing a good shepherd on Collingwood, and a lovely kick to the top of the square. Three points the margin. Footscray leading. Under eight and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Tony Shaw to Monkhorst. I think Shaw could have been tackled too high. Play on. And now he's called play oh, on. Idiot umpire. Well, that's extraordinary. Gaper loses it to Grant. He goes on to Baxter. It could also be very, very costly because Glenn Coleman is marked just outside 50. Well, let's see what happens. Coleman again, long and low. That's straight to Gary Perth. Goes to the outer half back line. Monkhorst was a big flyer from behind. Couldn't take it. Liberatore. One black eye and all. Kicks back in towards Brian Royal. Now this will be tough. It'll test him. Oh, clever. He didn't try and shoot for goal. He saw Danny Delray at the back and pinpointed the pass. Yeah, two of the smaller players for Footscray figuring there as Liberatore and that heavy bog out on the other side there kept his feet. Umpire Howlett just bringing Del Rey around and then Royal, he's a fine mark for his size and his confidence is up and has called. It was a terrific kick not to have a shot from that difficult position, but picked out Del Rey very well. Danny Del Rey is going for his fourth and he's got it. He's kicked three this quarter. He had four goals on the board to the long break. Let's rejoin the game with some highlights from the third term at the MCG. So Collingwood leading by one point. Oh, Delray says thank you very much. Yeah, away to Monkhorst. Monkhorst in turn goes to McGuan. Can they create from here? A short kick into the centre of the ground. And the mark is taken by Saunders, who's come on for Collingwood. He doesn't mess around. He goes straight towards goal. No one home? Yes! yes. No! Good mark against the big fellow, Wine. Yet to kick a goal. Kicked three last week. He's kicked one now today. Starsevic at half back. Good kick. A beauty. Pinpointed to Saunders. Fresh man on the ground. Fresh legs. Where's a rocker? There he is. Rocker from 40 metres. On the siren, Saverio Rocker has kicked it. So there it was at three-quarter time, and the Pies had come from behind in the third quarter, kicking four goals to one to lead 10-9-69 to nine goals 8-62, a margin of seven points. We're right in the middle of a triple header on AFL today. We hope you're enjoying the action. You always get a close one when the Magpies are involved. Let's go to the last quarter at the MCG from the opening bounce. Well, here we go. Damien Monkhorst has been charging up his teammates. Collingwood by seven points. See what he can do against Scott Wine. It's Wine who wins it, but McGuan who gets the kick only as far as McPherson. He couldn't take the mark. Monkhorst is pumped. He goes storming down the ground. Reynolds brings it back towards centre wing. Francisca Hell. And both he and Glenn Coleman and the football go over the line. And the boundary up, I nearly got a kick then, Sandy. <laughs> 
on center wing. Wine just palming it down, but straight to McGuan goes on to Francis. Out of bounds on the full. So it was interesting during the break we were talking about preferred ends and Ross is a player who spent a lot of time on this ground. You did prefer um, left of screen. the left of screen to the scoreboard end. Any particular reason? Uh, close to the change rooms, I think I mentioned. I suppose if you ask a silly question, that's all you can expect. Coleman. In the half forward, Stasevich. Delray. Atkins on his rump. Tony Shaw paddles it free. And just misses Doug Hawkins as he came sliding through. Or did he? Is the throw in. No score as yet. Coleman to Liberatore. The dogs may get the chance here. Liberatore heads for home. Richardson and Pert go dashing back on the last line of defence. And it is Pert, steady as a rock, giving it off to Richardson, uh, but as well smothered by Tui. Great work. In fact, the kick from Liberatore wasn't the best option. Tui gave him a great lead from about 30 metres. Liberatore, not a long kick, tried to kick 50 metres to the goal line. Not effective. Stasevic thumps it further away. Graham Wright just gets his foot to the ball. Kicks it to a vacant wing area. Saunders hand pass. McGuan, ever the creative player. Loves to run with it. Two bounces. He's carried it. Nearly all the way to centre half forward. And Mark the Collingwood rocker again. Well, he's been the surprise packet. And Collingwood have done it on many, many occasions at the MCG over the years. I think Len Thompson at 17 years of age made his debut in a final here. Rene Kink at 16 made he... Uh, one of his early games in a final for Collingwood. And this young man, four goals to his credit. Can he kick a fifth? Oh, it's a terrible kick. And what a build-up to be let down <laughs> by that, eh? You've given him the greatest build-up. Well, Sandy has kicked four, yeah. so... Done a very good job. we can give him a little bit of an excuse there. Out of bounds on the full. And Doug Hawkins will kick it in for the Bulldogs. Still seven points the margin. Favouring Colin. Wind, front spot. Moncourse, the spoiler. Brad Rowe tackling fiercely. Fraser, onto the left foot. Heading back into goal-scoring territory once again. Saunders. And with aerial ping-pong, it lands over the line. It's almost as if the ball was too hot to handle. Rocker in front. Wine plucks it out of the air, and then claim. It's going to be very tough now. Fraser again. His left foot kick is smothered over the line. In a low-scoring match, 19 goals scored for the afternoon. Hawkins. And the Dogs needing, well, two straight kicks would be ideal for at least the lead. Morwood. Liberatore, he is a little terrier. Saunders again. High kick to full forward. The pack crash it down. Row is there. Beautiful handball. What vision by Row to find Brown sitting in the square. And that could be a winning passage of play. Yeah, it's just the pace there getting away from Hunter. He did the same thing last week, and Brown giving his marks from the slip too. Good stuff there from Brad Rowe. He's done some important things at important times of this game. And again, Collingwood get to that advantage. Liberatore gets the ball out for Footscray. Coleman is caught, but away to McPherson. Bulldogs not giving up. Kick the full forward mark by Royal. And Footscray still in this game. It's been tight for most of the afternoon. Brian Royal kicked two goals early in the game. Both in the first quarter. And his ability to read off the pack in that forward line has been very, very good for Footscray. So a chance here to bring up his third goal and pull it back to seven points once again. Royal. Shot for goal. He's hooked it a little bit. It may have sneaked in. It has.
And I also remember when the bank said to us, uh, go on. Here, the feeling is absolutely sensational. All the Collingwood players From three and a half million dollars in debt, the club has now been restored to its former glory. In 1990, the Pies won the Premiership after a 32-year drought. Home. After all, the black and white troops have won 39 of their last 41 games there. Through all of them, Alan McAllister was sitting in his usual spot on the boundary line. I want to be down with our people. I want to be down there and I want them really to see me. Short to McGowan who can run on. Has a look up towards Gavin Brown at half forward. Eppleston in front spoils. Hawkins at the bottom. Farms out the hand pass. Good play. Footscray out of trouble. Stasevich, however. Back towards centre wing. McGuan again. Leg, but manages to get it back to the big man. Francis drifting across the right half forward flank marks. Rocker down in the forward line. Brown, Monkhorst. Wind the spoiler. Rowe. Confidence growing all the time. This young man outside 50. Centering kick. Saverio Rocker. Can't take the mark. Saunders gets it away. Morewood. Look at the pressure. Did go the required. I was just going to say. Tony Liberatore was asking the question. Did it? But nevertheless, Paul Williams has it. He was a hero six days ago. Seven days he ago. He was. Yes. And he could again make the lead up to 13 points. Hasn't kicked a goal today. From 35 metres. Drifted it across the face for behind. 11, was, sorry, Sandy. Plays 10 8. Footscray runner was out to Steve McPherson asking him to tighten up on McGuan. Should have happened a lot earlier. Tony Campbell to kick the ball back in for Footscray, indicating to come to this near side. No, he goes straight up the ground. Not a bad ploy. Very important possessions now. Shane Moore leaves it behind. Hunter dragged, didn't have the football. And Mark Hunter will take the free kick for Footscray just behind the centre of the ground. Pretty ordinary looking kick. Punched away. Snaffled by Grant, handball away. Oh, Steve Wallace, you were just a little bit, well, what would you say? Just a well, little he knew, unsure. He knew what he wanted to do, Robbo, before he'd picked the footy up. Had it knew, spent. Correct. And slipping didn't help much either. Centre half forward for Footscray. They trail by eight points. Plenty of time left in this game for many, many goals. Callot awkward. Krasiska big punch. Fraser. Leaving it behind Campbell. Krasiska underneath. Now Campbell. Liberatore. Right near the centre circle. Kicks Footscray. Inside 50 metres. No one home. And Gary Pert marks so easily on his chest. And a disappointing effort there by the Bulldogs. He handballs away to Francis. Wider Oops. still to Stasevich. Dilly caught. Handball. Very tight area for Graham Wright. He's going to get caught. No. Royal can't catch him. Wright's kick. Pretty good. Onto the chest of Saunders. Collingwood seem to have the answers at this stage. Saunders kick. Sent up for Brown. Can't mark. Chance there for Kellett. Tries to tap it out. Tony Shaw. Little kick. Out to the vacant half forward area. Keenan Reynolds. Left foot kick. Not all that bad, but no one there for Footscray. Back is Saunders. And he kicks it across his left shoulder. Reynolds is there. Nearly takes it out of bounds. Gives away ground. Still Footscray. I've got it in the back pocket. That's the left back pocket. Hunter's kick across his body is marked and well marked by Tony Shaw. Well, Ross, you're a little disappointed there, maybe, in the Footscray players' efforts? Yeah, I thought possibly. I think Tony Liberatore was the box seat there. I thought he might have come back into that play a bit, but Atkins too late. Well, all the possessions in the last quarter, very, very important. Campbell off. That's it, uh, Adrian Campbell for Footscray and Colin Hook back on. Tony Shaw, the only doubt here would be the distance. He's got to kick at 50, 60 yards, but he kicks it into the square, looking for Rocker. He can't mark, it's punched away. McGuan, deep in the pocket, 
can't get his foot to it. Liberatore can, and he'll clear for Footscray. A bit of an up and under kick. Wallace is there, and the bounce is awkward for Steve Wallace. It goes over for a boundary throw in just inside the 50 metre line for the Magpies. Only a matter of half a metre in it, so it's still within scoring distance for the Pies. Monkhorst, Liberatore working overtime, and he clears back near the centre for Footscray, and a great mark taken by Grant. He really is a class player. It's just on the defensive side of centre. The Dogs want the next goal. Baxter Good. to half forward, and out comes Danny Delray. Drops what he should have taken. Plays on. Pulls it round his body towards full forward. But it's Kerrison who read it best of all. Off to Tony Francis. Footscray looking to hold top spot on the ladder. Williams slips at the critical stage. Kellett. Caught. But the umpires have been consistent with that all day. Coleman. Shows Dash. Kicks to half forward. And Steve Kozinok pulls in a one-hander as casually as you like. He goes short and finds Nigel Kellett. Good running from Kellett because the options up forward were bottled up. Had to be a spot-on kick, and it was. This to make the margin just two points. Lee Matthews, Ron Richards. The Collingwood camp. Going to be kicking from just inside 40 metres. Not the result that neither he nor the dogs wanted. Yes, 6 7 now for the season for Kellett. Just over 14 minutes remaining. And still anyone's game. Hurt towards Monkhorst, who floats in from the side. He's enjoying some very good form at the moment. Off to Francis, who clean bowled Graham Wright. Look at the desperation of Brown. Saunders has added some flair since coming onto the ground. Hawkins, great dash. Back towards centre wing. Grant has been sensational. Burton Delray lock arms. Gayford to Shaw. Well done, Tony Shaw. Wider to Krasiska. Gavin Krasiska's kick goes in towards Brown and he takes the mark just outside 50. Plays on. Good kick. Monkhorst is man. Yeah, play that. Just a bit late, Scott Ryan. It's been a terrific battle by the, between those two players, uh, yeah. Ross, hasn't it? Uh, his 10th mark, Robbo. You'd be a game man to... I thought S Scott Wine has probably had the better of the rucking contest. Yes. It may be Monkhorst uh, judging on those stats that you're looking at uh, around the ground. Yes, uh, 10 marks, as I mentioned. Five kicks, 12 handballs. And for Wine, three marks, eight kicks, three handballs. This to make the margin 13 points, but it's away to the right. And instead, he'll add a behind. So, eight... Points the difference. Foots grade 10 9, trailing Collingwood 11 11. Campbell not messing around, going straight up the ground. He's kicked at 60 metres in towards the centre. Possession here very important. It's taken by Kellett and he kicks it wide. There's no one home for Footscray. The player closest to it is Richardson. He's chased. He falls over. Wallace caught. Gets the hand pass away. Still no one there for the Bulldogs. McGuan. A little kick, good. Tony Shaw marks. Looks to play on, but may settle his team down. Now he gives it away. Back to McGuan. And McGuan with two possessions in that passage of play. 24 kicks. He handballs away to Krasiska. Krasiska's kick to the front of the goals. Wine can't mark. Francis tries to take it with him. Saunders can't get through. Handball away, Morwood. Still there to be won. Hunter. Collingwood working hard to keep it in. Williams away. Saunders, can he make a hero of himself? Saunders' kick across his body is through for one behind. First score for that player after coming off the interchange bench. Collingwood by nine points. 
Campbell again. Still plenty of time for the dogs. Nigel Kellett. From half back. He's gone very wide towards the wing. And Mick Gaither. Unable to get a tight turning circle. Takes it over the line. Monkhorst and wind again. Monkhorst front spot. Maguana touch, but it's Simon Atkins. Over the top to Liberatore. He's a workhorse. Kellett slips back to Liberatore. Can they get the next one? Kolyanov. And well set up by, by Atkins there. He just took the time to make sure he found a target. And then because Liberatore backed up his teammate, he got the ball back again. And it was his kick that found Kolyanov. Has kicked 24 goals for the season. He floats that in. I think it's just about there. Touched Rust been desperately close to the line. One behind. Gee, there must have only been centimetres oh. in that. Game man, that goal umpire. 10 10. That is 11 12. Margin of eight points. Gee, Collingwood will enjoy, enjoy the bye. The last six weeks have been really. Uh, Heart trembling stuff. Wallace. Too far out to score, but he'll put the dogs into attack. Here comes Delray, but it's a little too short. Liberatore may have a go. The kick by Tony Liberatore. Grant is there. He'll shove it through. To goal. Well done, Liver. Well done, Chris. Tony Shaw. Away to Stasevich, Collingwood out of the centre. Very, very important. Francis has got an acre in front of himself. Two bounces, he'll put this in the goal square. Collingwood Mark Rocker. Gee whiz, that was a good effort. Good hands. It really was a good kick oh. by Francis though, wasn't it? To the front of the goals, always gives the forward a bit of a chance to run. And Rocker in front of Tony Campbell has marked. He's kicked four goals. Yes, and Tony France, as Robbo said, just got away from Liberatore, who was tiring in the middle there. Very important kick. Rocker from well within scoring distance. His kick. It has missed. 4-3. Two vital misses in this last quarter. Three points in Collingwood's favour. Still heaps of time left. Tony Campbell, last couple of times, he's just gone straight down the ground. This will be no exception. Another very, very good kick. Punched away by Morwood. Punched away again into the path of Hunter. He shrugs the Francis tackle. He puts Footscray into attack. Punched away. No. Oh. Here's a chance for Royal. Pert dives on it. Well oh. done, Gary Pert. He leaves it behind. He's hatched it. And the umpire will call for a bounce. Very well done by Perth. They're desperate stuff. Royal looks as if he might have just got a hand on it and tap it forward into his own path there. But desperate stuff by Perth to dive back on and save a scoring chance. A bounce in the forward pocket for Footscray. Stasevic, Atkins, Francis, little flick out. Tony, a chore. Handball over the top to Stasevic. Collingwood clear. Right. Runs with the football and thumps it to within 50 metres. Chris Siska's mark. Collingwood breathe again. Steve McPherson not having such a good day. He's had trouble with Maguana now. He picked up Krasiska. Krasiska just read that far better. Now Gavin Krasiska. Usually kicks it with good penetration. And he needs about a 50 metre kick to score. Fairly dry area, so he should be able to get a good roost to it. And he does. Distance good. Accuracy not there. Another behind to Collingwood. So Francisco one goal one. Collingwood lead by four points. Just over seven minutes remaining. Still plenty of time. Reynolds kick towards Grant. It's been too good for Gaper today, but Gaper wins that encounter. Monkhorst loses it to Kolyanov. Who twists in and out. Oh, could have been in the back. Right. Jeez, so you've got to do a couple of free kicks to Footscray there. No complaints from the Brownlow medalist. 
never whinge about the umpires, do they? <laughs> Ask the one sitting next to you. On centre wing. Baxter says, where is it? He gives it straight to Williams. Players are getting very tired, and so they should be. It's been tough all day. Rowe. Wallace comes to meet him. Rowe is quick. Still going. The race is on. Brad Rowe. It's got to sit for him, and it won't. What defence. What pressure. Shaw could have been held by Atkins. Atkins is the first to recover. Baxter's kick. Back towards Williams. He can pump Collingwood into attack again. Goes indirectly, but effectively to Saunders. Another short little chip into the pocket, and Francis is there. And now Wright has a far better angle to shoot for goal. To these quicker players of Collingwood just getting on top a little bit. Players like Wright, Francis, doing the right thing at the right time. Yeah, Tony Francis slipping away from Tony Liberatore yes. twice in this last, what, five or six minutes has been important, hasn't it? Paul, Will, uh, Paul Williams also. Just doing a couple of little things at I, crucial times. I wonder, Ross, if the tight games are now bearing fruit for Collingwood. Well, they've had two or three chances. This is their fourth go at it. They've kicked behinds on previous occasions. 40 metres out. Goal on by makes plenty of ground, but what's the decision? Another one. And often when this happens, the opposition goes straight down the ground and kick a goal. Yes, is all they need to hit the front, and they've got just over five minutes to do it. McPherson off, Stanfield back on. We're in play now. Here it comes. Reynolds. And there he is. Stanfield, will this happen? Coleman, an effective spoil by Stasovic. Williams over the top, back to Stasovic. Ripped off the football when he didn't have it. But a penetrating kick gathers some 45 metres. Collingwood have it in their attacking zone. And will have a throw in on the left half forward the flank. Footscray should have made more of that with Stanfield in the clear. He perhaps picked the wrong option maybe, yes. Ross. Could have even taken a bounce. And a kick off the ground by Saunders was good. And gathered about 35 metres for his side. Wind, Liberatore, Atkins. They're clear again. Atkins forced to kick quickly. Up the centre half forward. Nearly a mark to Coleman, but Stasevich the first to recover, and he'll kick Collingwood back towards the 50-metre line, but Tui takes the mark, and Gavin Brown drags him to the ground. No 50-metre penalty. And Tui to defend for the Bulldogs. Four minutes left. Tui's kick. Underneath it, Williams. Courage. Stasevich at the back. Bounces awkward. Kick off the ground by Kellett. Now the race is on. First to get back is Kellett. He kicks it out on the full. It may have been over the line before his foot made contact. And yeah. it was right on the line as Nigel Kellett's foot made contact. So a boundary throw and will take place. Five points in favour of the Magpies. Coleman, Liberatore, Royal Nowhere, Tony Shaw, Kerrison. He's got the football, should be penalised. Here's a chance, Royal. Shot for goal, over on the full in that left forward pocket for Footscray and Collingwood will take it through Alan Richardson three and a half minutes remaining Collingwood leads by five points Richardson's kick towards the defensive 50 metre line that's where the tall timber is Monkhorst and Wine they're both there at the moment right making sure that ball is locked up so Footscray want a goal to hit the front. They want a goal to hold top spot on the ladder. It's providing, of course, Geelong beats it. Tony Shaw into a cameraman. <laughs> yeah, well, if he ever retires from <laughs> AFL footy, he can take up the job as an umpire, couldn't he? <laughs> Wine plucks it out of the air. Time ticking away for Footscray. They want a mark. They haven't got one. Almost had it, so did Royal. Coleman takes them on. Pulls it round his body, a high kick. Can they get one here? No, they can't. Perth shows courage as he gets away from Delray and taps it clear. Collingwood a little bit of room. Stasevich out in front of him. If it sits there in business, he takes the kick. Collingwood out of trouble. Eppleston follows the bouncing ball, close to the boundary line. He keeps it in play to Bernard Tui. 
to his steadies back towards centre wing, but a wonderful spoil by McGuan. Back to Stanfield. Liberatore takes it. On two minutes only remaining. Wind and Monkhorst. Monkhorst too good. Gets away, but he opens up the path for Richardson. To centre wing he goes. Liberatore again. What a finish. Reynolds now. Long kick. Stasevich. Eyes only for the football. At the back is Delray. With him is Kerrison. He loses the football. Tony Shaw there also. The umpire lets it go on. Saunders clears. And Collingwood steadies to the outer side. Fraser fumbles, but he's quick enough to recover. Handball, awkward. Wallace caught. And Collingwood lock it in to their advantage, I feel. Young Mark Fraser maybe a little bit overcome by the situation there. He was in the clear. There's Lee Matthews trying to get instructions down to his runner. Collingwood hanging on. They lead by five points. We're nearly down into the last minute. Monkhors takes it out of the air and gets a foot to the ball. Up to centre-half forward. No take. Ooh. Kellett off the ground. Brad Rowe. Francis taps it on. Williams has a chance. He runs onto that preferred right side. Kicks it into the full forward area. No mark taken. Here's Tony Campbell. He'll take it away. Fumbles. Critical. Collingwood still got it. Rocker. In that right forward pocket, Severio Rocker. He tries to take it and cover himself in glory. Campbell, seconds ticking away. Collingwood will mark the loose ball. It's Graham Wright. And Collingwood should be able to waste enough precious seconds here to hang on. Well, you never know, do you? Football is such a weird game. Graham Wright is too far out to score. Footscray must cover all the options. He's going to go long. He'll kick it into the square. It's a long kick right near the forward pocket boundary line, and it's thumped over. And 14 seconds left. There is no time for Footscray to take it the length of the ground. So Collingwood will win this game. It has been a fantastic contest. Two sides striving very, very hard. Morwood, shot for goal by Shane Morwood. He's kicked it behind. And there is the siren. It is all over. That score will register a behind for Collingwood, and they will win by exactly six points. The Magpies 11-16, Footscray 11-10, and Sandy, I don't want to cover a Collingwood game next week. <laughs> Today's game is part of the Carlton and United Breweries 1992 A. 11 goals, 10, 76, a one kick margin. Rocker, the first gamer, kicked four goals, and for Footscray, Delray kicked five and Royal kicked three. Time now. Gray lost top spot, and by winning in Sydney, Geelong took over the top place, and would you believe they play next week at Cadinia Park, first and second on the ladder. And look down to midfield, and we see Essendon and Adelaide, their ninth and tenth on the ladder.